All right, in the lab today, I'm going to be going over how to deploy a virtual machine on ESXi via the web GUI. So stick around. All right, everybody, let's jump right into this. Okay, so on the left-hand side, you'll notice I already logged in. What you guys are seeing on the screen is I'm logged into my host. So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is log into your host. You're going to want to download the ISO for the operating system you're going to want to install. And then you're going to go ahead and upload that ISO to a data store on your host. Now, for me, I have local storage on this host. If I'm using shared storage, a lot of time I'll end up actually building an ISO's data store that's shared out as a LUN to the uh, host inside the cluster. But here I just have a local 7K, which are just 7K volumes just thrown in RAID on the machine itself using a RAID controller. And I actually have an ISOs folder in here, and I have the eval version of 2019 server. So what we're going to go ahead and do now, once we've got that all done, so first log in, upload your ISO, make sure that's done. Now we can go on to building the virtual machine. We're going to go ahead and right-click, create and register VM, create a new virtual machine. We're going to come in, we're going to call this Windows Test 2019. I can actually put the right date in. All right. We're going to select our Windows OS family, which is going to be, sorry, our guest OS family, which is going to be Windows. And then we're going to go ahead and choose Windows Server 2016. It's the highest right now that I have on my E6. I have not updated, not checked in any of that to see what's available. Next, we're going to click Next. <laughs> exactly. Next, we're going to click Next. But after that, we're going to select our storage. I'm going to be using the 7K local, as I was stating earlier. From here, it's going to come up to our virtual hardware, and this is just real quick, guys. This is what we're going to be giving the guest OS to run on site on our host. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give us four CPUs. I'm going to change this over to gigs. I'm going to give us eight gigs of RAM, and I like doing a 120 gig hard drive. So there's our basics. The next thing you want to do is you want to come down here to network adapter. I don't want this to be on my wife's network. I want this to be on my main network. So I'm going to go ahead and do Bode TX. The, after that, we're going to have to come over here to CD DVD. This is where you need to make sure that you've already have the ISO uploaded. The reason being is that you're going to come down here and click data store ISO file. From there, we'll be able to go to where I just was earlier. We'll be able to select the ISO file and tell it to connect it power on and make sure it's connected. And what happens is, is when we boot this VM, it will actually act as if we have like a USB, you know, say you have a physical machine and you're booting from USB or you're booting from CD, it's exactly the same thing here, except for just mounting an ISO, virtually. Once you have everything good and go and you're happy with it, you're like, all right, this is cool, sweet, awesome. Go ahead and click next, guys. This is just kind of the basics of, you know, what we're gonna set. This is just basically helping you get a VM first deployed. Maybe it's your first VM deploying and you need to I'm, I'm hoping that this, with, this is what this guide will, you know, help you do. So once you're done, let's click next. It'll come up to the ready to complete page. And here it's gonna go ahead and go over everything. It's gonna show you where it's being saved. It's gonna tell you the guest OS name and what it's gonna be using. Obviously, we're going to be using 2019, like I said earlier. Haven't checked all that yet. It's going to tell you the compatibility for this machine. It's going to tell you the vCPUs, the memory, network adapters, what type of network type it's using. And look right there, E1000E. I'm actually going to go back. This is something I, I, I needed to go over, actually. If you click down here, make sure to actually use your VMM NextNet 3. Uh, the reason being is that there's actually known issues with E1000. You just won't get full performance. There's also been issues with bridging and such. And I don't know all the known issues. And I'm not, you know, I, I don't just don't know enough about it. I just know that there's known issues. And I was taught to always use VMN, VMXNet 3 and make sure to install VMware tools. And that'll be for another video on installing VMware tools. But that's one of the first things you do once you install and get the operating system going. So let's go ahead and click next. And that's why we have the ready to complete guys right there. Because you want to go through and you want to actually double check and see that was a very good test right there. I found that, hey, I didn't do my network type. Now, if you notice, it's back. We're going to go ahead and go down. We see our hard drives. We see our SCSI controllers, our SATA controllers. We see our D CD, DVD drives, see what it's mounting. It's connected. Awesome. We're happy with that. That's sweet. We're going to go ahead and click finish. Now, we're going to go ahead and go up to virtual machines. If you notice, here it is right here. We're going to be able to go ahead and click power on. It's going to power on. And boom. Right there it's already booting into Windows Server 2019 installer. That's how quick it loads that ISO file. So as long as you have it connected and you have it put, is put in to boot from data store file, you'll be fine. It'll boot up, boom, Windows Server 2019. You'll go through the normal process just as if you were installing it on a physical machine, everybody. It's not that hard. Um, I know that you know a lot of people have installed different operating systems. It, it doesn't matter what an operating system you have with a VM basically as long as you can get it to boot and get up to this screen right here where it says hey do you want to install me 
you should have no issues getting installed. Just follow the installer guide, go through the wizard, just like I am here, 2019 server. Uh, I want to make sure I do the desktop experience. I'm not, not too good at PowerShell yet. I'm getting there, but no, I don't trust myself yet. I'm probably more dangerous than anything. So like I was saying, guys, we'll go right through the normal processes. And boom, we're already installing Windows. It's not going to take that long. So there you go, guys. That, there you have it. That's how to go ahead and deploy a machine on ESXi via the web GUI. And if you notice, I deployed Windows Server 2019. I plan on actually doing more with this machine. I'm going to be going over you know, all the different roles. I'm going to be using this to kind of go over a bunch of future videos, guys. So stick around. Server 2019 will be used a lot. If there was anything in this video that maybe I didn't go over, maybe you guys didn't understand, I know it's a very basic video. There's good reason for it. I'm trying to make sure that uh, my target demographic, which I really don't know what it is yet. I'm kind of trying to hit everybody from beginner all the way up to expert. I'm trying to help people refresh their memory, maybe try to cover some things. And I'm also trying to help myself better myself and learn things. So as always, guys, thanks for all the support. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you haven't, follow me on Twitter, you know, drop a comment down below, shoot me a DM, PM, if there's anything you want me to cover. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the lab.